first glance, it looks like a success. But on closer look, the Pelican's outfit is a little scruffy, and there aren't many people here. Promoters projected 75,000 a day, but only half that came, fewer since Labor Day. The governor stuck his neck out to get emergency financing. Now he wants someone else's neck. I can only say that had this been a public undertaking, there would have been a number of people sent to the penitentiary, with them in lynchings, hangings, and certainly a lot of investigations. He wanted to fire Peter Sperney, the director, but a fiscal committee that oversees finances only recommended cutting his $165,000 salary in half, along with that of other executives. A hanging here would bring in a nice crowd, though the courts would never allow that. But it shouldn't take a hanging to get the idea across that World's Fairs may be obsolete. But this week, delegations from Seville, Spain, and Chicago, which are planning joint fairs for 1992, toured this one. Bad publicity from this fair is hurting Chicago's efforts to raise money. It has given the United States uh, and the United States ability to organize world expositions a bad name. For Chicago, it came at the worst possible time. Louisianans are stuck with a debt that may reach $140 million, and they're stuck with a fair they can't close. It pre-sold $500,000 worth of tickets, and it has to honor them. So they can't stop the bubble machine. We can't yet bid fond farewell to the Louisiana Exposition as it sinks slowly into the red. Charles Murphy, ABC News, New Orleans.